Hey guys, so I just did a, an entire video and it's done, edited, not really edited so much because there wasn't too much that I had to do. And I went to add music to it and there was one particular song that I played. It's one of my favorites. I would say it's, uh, it's probably top four. We'll go top three. And as I listened to it, I realized that I wanted to do a different video, and while I was listening to the song, I realized that summer is coming soon, and I'm a little nostalgic. I am definitely a very nostalgic person, and I think right now I'm a little nostalgic because every year when summer comes around, I, I remember things that I did seven years ago or eight years ago when I was when I was younger and not that I'm super old now but I definitely did things differently and I just remember I remember being so carefree about life and I remember being able to do anything and I remember this is a big difference within the queer community today versus the queer community 10 years ago that I first entered into. And I remember going to a, it wasn't even a venue, I believe it, I mean it was just a small bar, but it was, it was two story and it was tall, not necessarily wide. And I remember my friends, I, I met these amazing people there and I remember going there every week and we would go and we would hang out and even though I was underage, I drank a little bit. And I just remember going and there were ping pong tables and we'd stand outside in like the smoking area and this was back when I was a smoker. And there would be local bands and they wouldn't be they wouldn't be straight bands. They would be these amazing women that would get up on this tiny ass stage and we'd all get up in the front and we'd be dancing and going crazy and the lights would just be going nuts and everyone would just be there to have fun. And this place was filled with queer women. Queer women filled. And we were all between the ages of probably 17 and 29. And I met I met the most amazing people during that time period and I've never found a place that has been the same since and it closed down probably about a year after I moved and that was probably due to the underage drinking <laughs> but I just get a little nostalgic sometimes when I think back to this particular time period and realize that that it doesn't exist anymore. There is no, you know, every week going to a show, you know, that costs two dollars to get in the front door and it's a dollar for a beer. You know what I mean? Maybe I should just build a time machine. Maybe I'll do that. I'll build a time machine and just go back for a minute. But just for a minute, because that's all, that's about all I could handle. I was a little crazy when I was younger. But yeah, I mean, what did you guys do? What what are the things that you guys did when you were younger? And how would you say that it compares, if at all, to today? And would you say that today is better? Maybe there are different places. I mean, this is this is very, very similar to some of the, the first blogs, blogs that I posted, having to do with the uh, scene in San Diego, which isn't bad, it's definitely not bad. There are some amazing people here, but I definitely have my qualms with every place that I've lived and I think that that community that I had when I was younger was so carefree that yeah I guess it's hard to not be nostalgic about it sometimes.